Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. So, this is part two of a short series down here in Grand Isle. Alex and I are basically just hanging out, looking for specs right now, killing a bit of time before Elmer's opens because it's not open yet. It is almost 3 a.m. in the morning. We're gonna fish under the lights here. Come on, guys. So, guys, this is a little channel that is coming off the bay here into. Oh, there was a hit. There we go, we got one right off. Oh, it came right off too. It's going back to the marina, right? And there's a lot of bright lights coming off this camp right here in front of us, making it a fun place to fish. But, oh, there we go, there's a hit right there. It's a mixed bag of white trout and specks. And I don't think, did you guys get a keeper out of here? Uh, there we go, there we go, I got him. The first one I caught was, but- uh... There he's gone. Yeah, first one I caught him sure was, but I didn't have a safe close and I didn't want him to die on me. So I'm just throwing a real simple trout rig. It's a chartreuse double jig, high low rig. Wow. Good thing there's nobody right behind me. I would have put the eyes out. Maybe both of them. No, we're good. We're good. I might need to switch back to the little. Oh, no, we're. We're good. Here we go, guys. This is what I'm throwing. Real simple, really cheap. Get these real cheap at Walmart. Lots of other places have these too. It's a mono rig, right? So I'm throwing straight braid on my rod here, 20 pound braid. And I have this clip here. And occasionally things will tangle as I throw this through the wind. And just had to be mindful of that. Look at that. That's another nice one. Yes. Yeah, we put these in the chest. We are putting those in the chest. Look at that. Oh, that's even better. Oh. Woo. Let me have that. Look at the size of that. Yeah. <laughs> another video with a dozen, another dozen. There you go. Yeah. So I went and I got the chest. And here, I already threw those big ones in there. Here, we're gonna take this, the biggest one. This is the one Alex just caught. In the video before this, we started like going, okay, they gotta be eight inches or more for us to keep. We're gonna use this big one that Alex just caught. This one is just a little over 10. So this time, if we're keeping white trout, they gotta be 10 inches or bigger because we got plenty of eight inches in there. I mean, look, this is from the previous video. Look at that big ass speck that Alex got. Let's make these guys jealous. Look what Alex caught just right around the corner from here. 16 inch speck. That's decent. Yeah, there we go. This is fighting like a white trout or an undersized speck. my spidey sense says you are under 10 but we needed to hear it from the ice chest as well he's just a couple of hairs over eight did you just lose one there we go gotcha fighting good that's because he was hooked up wrong yeah you're right I'm seeing him popping right out oh right to the right in the oh here we go it's gonna be a white trout again because a bunch of them just came through he came off right out here Alex if you watch right where it gets dark it must be like popping off as it coming in or going out. There we go. Catch it. That is definitely going to be undersized. It's not the light at the end of the tunnel, but it does mean got to let it go by. Oh. I don't know. Maybe we need to. Wow. There we go. 
Definitely not going to make the grade, though. That is a seven foot, seven foot. Yeah, seven, seven foot. feet, seven inches. Yeah, that's good. It is, kind of, it is moving in, but. There, yeah, we're talking about possibility of rain. It's way offshore and you, it is moving in. It is moving toward us, but right now they're going, it's going on either side of the island. This is how thick the white trout are underneath that light. Look at that. It's just snagging them. Want a speck? Oh, did I cross somebody? No. I get out of the way anyway. There we go. That feels good right there. <laughs> That's because he's upside down. <sighs> yeah, another one of those incidents where I'm talking to a camera that doesn't have a red dot, a red light. <laughs> talking to myself again that's what I do for a living we're gonna put this on the chest it just came out we'll see if that's close to a 10 incher nope nine there we go Just another white trout. Oh, look at that. I got a speck. Finally. Oh, nice. That's what Alex and I are doing. We're not here to mess around with white trout i mean inadvertently that's what it's turning out to be right more white trout mm -hmm. we were trying really hard to find a spot that's not bridge side to produce another video while we're killing time for the beach to open and we just had to come back to bridge side but we thought we would look for trout here and they are here but obviously <laughs> 16 inches like from earlier yeah, this one is definitely undersized, about nine inches. Whoa, oh, sorry, buddy. There you go. There we go. Is this another speck? Because sometimes when you get one, there's more. And the answer is no. There we go. Too small for sure, but at least now I'm get, starting to get them in the mouth. Ooh. It has been, oh, this, that might be. Doubt it. Yeah, that's probably eight. Yeah, I would just throw it back. So a lot of time has gone by and it's just now 5 a.m. A lot of time has gone by of me just sitting down, taking a break, watching Alex cast, not catching anything and finally got one. I think we are close, close. 
Ooh, you guys see that? Old Glory is just going nuts. This wind is just whipping up. We are going to call it right here because it's just after 5. We are not calling it for good though. We're going to go right into the wind and go hit the beach and see what we can do even though it is going off out here. It's just nuts. But come on guys. Yeah, you're right. So next video hopefully is a big fish. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, and I will see you next time. Have you had enough? Yeah, no, no. Yeah, come on, let's get out of here. This is way too rough. Way too rough.